What's up there, guys? My name is Ari. And my name is Legum John. And today, we will be finding the amount of grass I you would need to cover your lawn. So let's get started. In order to solve that problem, we'll be using the grass method. The G in grass stands for the given information. Or, for an example, Your house is about 5 by 10 meters. Other information you would need to know is that the garage is 2 meters. Your driveway is 7 by 2 meters. The fountain is 3 meters in diameter. This alcove here is 4 meters all around. This little part here is 18 meters. The side along the beach is 30 meters. This side over here is 31 meters. And this side over here is 14 meters. R. R stands for required. Uh, in order to solve this problem, we would need to use our prior knowledge of area. The A in grass stands for analysis, or the steps you would need to take in order to solve the problem. Step 1. Divide the property shape area into shapes. Or, Step if you want to know what that means, you first have to just divide the area. Like this, for an example, can become a triangle and a square. Step 2. Find the area of the property shapes. Step 3. Add the area of the property shapes areas. Sounds weird. Step 4. Find the area of the house, garage, driveway, and the fountain. Step 5. Add the area of the house, garage, driveway, and fountain. Step 6. Check the total property area by the answer of the step 5. And finally, step 7. Find out the amount of grass sod needed. Now we'll be showing you the... So the second S in grass stands for solution, or how you would go about solving the steps. Step 1. In order to divide the shapes. So here we divided the shapes into three parts. Part square or shape 1 is a triangle. Shape Sha 2 is a rectangle. And shape 3 is a square. We will also we also have all of the lengths here. For an example, here this part is 2 meters. This part is 16 meters 31 and 14 Small mistake, this part over here is actually 14, not 16. Next, step 2. So we multiply in add. the add. Multiply. Mu multiply the for each shape. Basically, basically, we multiplied the lengths yes. to get the answer. 14 times 31, 4 to the power of 2, equals 16. So triangle 1 is 1. The triangle 1 is 124 meters squared. A square shape 2 is 434 meters square. Shape 3 is 16 meters square. Step 3. Now we add all of those up to get the total property area of 572. Step 4. We now multiply the lengths and get, get the area for each of them. House. The house is... Basically, we use the lengths of each of these individual uh, things, and we got their area. So the house is 50 meters squared. The fountain is 7.069 meters squared. The driveway is 19 meters 14. squared. 14 meters squared. And the garage is 4 meters squared. Step 5. We now add all of those areas up to get a total of 75.60.069 meters square. Step 6. 
Now we minus 152, 552 minus a by. Sorry guys, we got a little mistake. So the so it's five. So we minus yeah. the property area by the area of the fountain, house, etc. And we got the answer of 496.931 meters square. Step 7. This is how much grass sod we would need to cover the lawn. Statement. This is where we conclude everything we have done. In order to cover the lawn, you would need... Uh, about 500 meters squared of so grass soil. Done. Thank you for watching. This part's unnecessary.